Aditya Birla Sun Life Mutual Fund and Money Mile present your goals, dreams and plans. Inflation, the biggest risk that an investor actually runs but does not see it. And what is the way in which you can effectively beat inflation? So yeah, inflation is a uh, really, really sizably big risk uh, and ignored simply because inflation is hidden that way. I mean, it's, it's not easily visible. Uh, short term rate, uh, short term movements in prices of items that we consume uh, is uh, not, not much. It's just that over a period, because it's cumulative, it builds up. Mm. It hits, at, uh, hits us over a long period. Previous generation probably did not have to bother much about it because the longevity has also uh, gone up and earlier the uh, government employees etc even private corporates also employees used to get inflation indexed pensions. Mm. Today that is also not available and so if I were to uh, say if I retire at 60 and then I have to spend 30 years in retirement. Mm. Yeah, so that becomes a significantly large risk. A lot of people because that risk is not visible and the capital fluctuation is visible, people avoid what is visible, they don't want to worry about what is invisible. And just to use another analogy, uh, if I walk in a, a forest where let's say there is a uh, one foot grass, hmm. there is a huge risk that a snake may come and bite me. But so long as there is no ruffling of the leaves or there is no uh, snake visible, I walk comfortably. So hmm. that's not visible. But if I go to a movie theater, a 3D movie theater, and in, a, in the 3D movie theater, a snake comes out of the screen, everybody would scream. Screen, yeah. yeah, That's visible. We know that it's illusory. Mm. But because it's visible, we get scared. That one is real. It's not visible. So that's the uh, case with inflation. It's real, but not visible. So we are very comfortable with it. Mm. And because we are very comfortable with it, most of us don't plan. And as you just mentioned some time back, so much money in bank deposits, small savings schemes, etc, etc. Why is it lying there? Because I'm very comfortable with that snake in the grass. So what, what is the best way to beat inflation? So let's go back to the three risks that I uh, just spoke some time back. Mm. Either I have to embrace the risk of price fluctuation, which comes largely in the equity markets. Right. The second is I'll have to uh, forget my money for a while. I'll, I'll take that illiquidity risk, which is real estate largely. Or I may have to take credit risk, which is going into lower credit quality, debt securities, fixed deposits, debentures, etc. Where while inflation may be 6%, I may get 10% here. Mm. Though I'm taking risk, I'm not recommending anything, but the, the only way to beat inflation is by taking some of these risks mm. or a combination of it. Mm. Now, then comes the question of can I do it in a much more managed manner? And that's where, yes, the answer is, if you start with a reasonably decent quality and diversify, then you can reduce the risk to a uh, large extent and still you are able to beat inflation. Now, this is an area where mutual funds play a huge role. Quality or professionally identified securities and a diversified portfolio. So mutual funds actually fill the void uh, beautifully well. Hmm. So if you want to beat inflation, Either you go into certain uh, call, uh, certain types of debt funds or equity funds or even one can look at hybrid category of funds. Mutual fund investments are subject to market risks. Read all scheme related documents carefully.